Today I'm going to be going over how I created a procedural smoke in my game using Unity Shader Graph and VFX Graph. I'm currently working on a VR movement shooter and I tried using the standard flipbook technique but was disappointed. I was able to pick up on patterns in the smoke which really broke immersion. I'm no artist, so instead of putting in time to creating more flipbooks with more variation, I use the shader to create procedural smoke patterns at runtime. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using a URP project. I'm going to head over to the package manager and install the visual effects graph as well as the shader graph. Once both of those are installed head over to your assets folder and go ahead and create a new visual effects we're going to do visual effects graph and call this smoke as well as a shader with a blank shader graph and call that smoke as well so the first thing that we want to create is the smoke shader so i'm going to open it up and i'm going to add a target to the visual effects i'm actually going to maximize this and as you can see, I already added some properties. We have a seed, alpha, color, direction, and rotation. So just add those in. And the first thing that we want to add is a time node. And we're going to use the seed float to reseed the uh, randomness. And we're just going to add these together. Plug these two in. And then we want to affect the direction. So the direction, we actually want to set a default value of 0 0.07 so we can see it in preview. But if we drag that in, and go ahead and multiply that with the output of the add. Got this red color. And we're going to take that and plug it into the tiling and offset. We're going to plug it into the offset node. Um, and we want to rotate this tiling and offset UV. So we're going to add a rotate. Plug our rotate float into the rotate section and plug the out two into the UV. And now if we actually take that default value and rotate it, you'll see that the UV rotates, which is what we want. Next, we want to add the noise. So we're gonna do a couple of simple noises plus a gradient noise. Set this one to 20, this one to 10, and this one to four. And we're going to plug in all of them into the UVs. And as you can see, now they're starting to scroll. Then we want to multiply the two simple noises together. And multiply the output of that multiply with the gradient noise. As you can see, we have a nice scrolling texture. But the problem is that we don't want it to just look like a square. So we need to add some kind of mask. So we're going to do a sample texture 2D node. We're going to add a texture and I'm just gonna use the, the default uh, Unity particle. But you can make your own masks or make the mask random and that will add a lot of variation to the texture. And we're gonna plug the two outputs into a multiply. And as you can see, now we have kind of a scrolling cloud type effect but it's kind of uh, dim. So we want to add another multiply and plug our alpha into it. And as you can see, that's brightened it up a lot. I've set the default value for the alpha to three. And then from there, we can just plug that straight into the alpha channel. And last, we need to add that base color in. So just drag it in and plug that into the base color. That's pretty much it. Our shader is now done. So now if we head back into our scene, we can add our smoke particle into the scene. I'm gonna place it against the wall because this is gonna be kind of an impact smoke effect. So as you can see, I've already added in a bunch of properties. We have the color, minimax lifetime, the alpha over lifetime, size over lifetime, count, and minimax velocities. And as you can see in the properties section, I've just clicked on the smoke and added them all in here. Uh, and for the alpha over lifetime, I just have it set to go from uh, one down to zero and for the size I have it set to go from uh, slightly below three to then down to zero so you can go ahead and pause the video and just copy those properties down but once you have those done then we can actually head into the V of X graph and we can delete our spawn rate and add in a burst a single burst and add our count we can then add our min and max lifetime as well as our min and max velocity and just start plugging those into our set velocity random and our set lifetime random. Next we want to head into update 
and add a turbulence node. And we're going to set the drag for this turbulence to 4. And as you can see, when we play the particle, it kind of shoots out and slows down and then wiggles around, which is a really nice effect. And last, we need to go to our output particle quad and add our smoke. And as you can see, we have a bunch of parameters here that we put into our actual shader. And we can affect them here in our VFX graph. The first thing that we want to do is we want to reseed our particle. So we're going to add a random number to a min max of 0 to 999 and plug that random value into the seed. So now they have a different starting point. Then we want to do our alpha, so drag in the alpha over lifetime, add a sample curve node and a uh, age over lifetime node and plug them into their respective places and then take that output and plug it into alpha. We want to take our color, drag it in and plug it into the color, very simple. And then for the direction, we're actually going to create a random number Set it to go from negative 0.3 to 0.3. Copy it twice. And we're going to create a vector 2. And simply plug it into the x and the y. And plug the output into direction. You could use properties for this, but I just chose to do it this way. Then we want to do our rotation, which again is going to be a random number. I'm just going to set mine between negative 10 and 10 and plug the output into rotation. Then last, we're actually going to get rid of the set over lifetime and instead we're going to set a do a set uh, size. So it's just a plain size and we're going to get our set over lifetime node, add a sample curve a age over lifetime and plug that value into size. So now that's all done, we have this really nice billowing smoke effect. The only problem is performance. If the player steps into this cloud of smoke, the amount of transparent fields will take up the whole view of camera and reduce your frames. So what we need to do is change the size depending on how close the particles are. Let's get a position node. And then we want to go ahead and change its space to world and then we want to get our main camera get its transform its position and we want to take the distance between the camera and the particles position then we can take that and we can remap it we're going to use clamp and we're going to set it to the old range to 1 and 3, and the new range to 0 and 1. And it always needs to be a new range of 0 and 1. Um, but basically, if it is 1 meter or less, the particle size will be 0. And if it's 3 or over, it'll be 1. And in between, it's just interpolated. And then we just take these two values and multiply them. And that's it. I set the particle to continuous just to display the effect, but if we take the main camera and begin to move it closer to the particles, as you can see, they start to dissipate and get smaller and smaller. And as the camera moves past, they start to gain their size back and go back to normal. And that about wraps it up. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more videos just like this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment or join my Discord where you can get the latest updates on my game. Your body.